Emotions ran high last night in Tracy as friends and family gathered to remember the life of a murdered teenager. More than 100 people came together at the War Memorial near City Hall to honor 19-year-old Lizette Cuesta. Friends, family, and even complete strangers released balloons and lit candles to show their support. A big laugh, you know, like lightens the, the room when she laughs, you know, that Liz is there, you know. I still love her, and I will miss her a lot. I love you, Lizette. Bye, Mama. Police say Lizette was stabbed last Monday, dumped off Tesla Road near Livermore, and crawled almost 100 yards for help. Her dying words led investigators to the two suspects in her murder, 19-year-old Daniel Gross and 25-year-old Melissa Leonardo. Authorities are still trying to piece together the motive and the details of how Lizette and the suspects knew each other. And this morning, San Jose police are looking for the suspects who stabbed a man at the Tet Festival last night on Story Road. Police say the suspects are Asian men, and we're told that dozens of people witnessed the crime. If you have any information, call police. President Trump shifting the blame in the gun control debate to the Democrats. He tweeted, just like they don't want to solve the DACA problem, why didn't the Democrats pass gun control legislation when they had both the House and Senate during the Obama administration? Because they didn't want to, and now they just talk. So Democratic Congressman so Eric Swalwell accused the president of doing nothing to prevent mass shootings. He met with people in his East Bay district yesterday. Swalwell called for stronger background checks that include mental health evaluations. I think we should ban assault weapons. Every age, every street, uh, in our country. We can continue to have tough gun laws uh, that protect our citizens, but if neighboring states don't, it leaves us and our citizens more vulnerable. Even if the Democrats are able to convince Republicans to cross party lines, it isn't likely the ideas will go anywhere because the president has the power to veto. Meanwhile, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi laid out a three-step approach to gun control at a meeting with educators in Houston, Texas. Her visit to Houston comes in the wake of the deadly mass shooting in Parkland, Florida. And she's calling for an expansion of common sense background checks. She also wants to lift the current federal restriction preventing the Center for Disease Control from researching gun injuries and deaths. And she wants Democrats and Republicans to sit down together on a select committee. If we have our disagreements, let's sit down, iron them out. Basically, what we're saying to the speaker is there's not one person in this Congress whose political survival is important compared to the lives of these children.